Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey, so we're going to jump right in. First, I'm going to moisturize my skin using my Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is an awesome moisturizer slash primer for your makeup, so it helps your skin not to be all scaly and dry. Then I am going to fill in my pores with this Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. This is an awesome primer if you have large pores um, in your face, and yeah, this is just awesome. I love it. So next, I'm going to go in with my MAC. NW45 Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to conceal or hide the discoloration on my face so like my forehead is the main area and then my cheeks. Love this concealer because it lasts me all day long. It covers great and it stays in place all day long. I absolutely love it. It's my holy grail. So next I'm going to use my clear brow gel and I'm going to brush my eyebrow hairs upwards so that it looks like I have more eyebrow hair and it helps my eyebrow stay like this all day long. Next I'm going to use my eyebrow pomade. I have a full eyebrow tutorial using this pomade so you can check it out. I'll put the link right above my head <laughs> right here and you guys can check out the full tutorial. I go in detail of how I do it and what I use and everything like that so check that out. My eyebrows generally take me the longest out of everything makeup wise so just check that out so next very exciting I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal infallible uh, pro glow foundation I've been wanting to try this for a while and I'm gonna use this Moda brush that I got from the drugstore and this foundation is very liquidy um, but I heard it's very it's like a sheer to medium ish coverage I had to really build it up and as you can tell it was super duper orange but it does oxidize well it did on me and it actually end up looking very good. I love skin-like foundations, and this is very skin-like. Um, the only thing I don't like is that they don't have a lot of shades for darker skin tones. Honestly, this is the deepest shade that they have, and it's the only deep shade, basically. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only thing I don't like. Come on, L'Oreal, we gotta, you gotta do better than that. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I really do like it. It does give you a subtle glow and it does cover a really a decent amount so I actually really do like this foundation because it looks like skin this foundation is very beautiful if you can find your shade check it out next I'm gonna use my NYX nutmeg concealer and I'm just gonna conceal underneath my brows and I'm just going to use my concealer brush and basically blend out that concealer this kind of helps my brows to look more uh, freshly done or like waxed or tweezed or something like that it just cleans up any of the mistakes that I made filling in my brows and stuff like that so it just makes it look a lot cleaner and I'm just gonna go in with a blending brush and blend out that concealer underneath my brows so next I'm going to curl my eyelashes just to get them ready for my false lashes this just helps my real lashes to mesh better with the falsies. Next, I'm going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to put that on my eyelashes to make them longer and they will just look better with my eyelashes later on. So next, I'm going to take my Fit Me Concealer and I'm waiting for my eyelashes to dry. So that's why I skipped the lashes, but you'll see in a second. But I'm going to take my Fit Me Concealer and use the applicator and put it underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and I am going to blend out my concealer underneath my eyes. This Fit Me Concealer, I love it. The NYX concealer and this Fit Me Concealer are my favorite concealers from the drugstore. They blend so easily. They look so skin-like. I don't know. They're just amazing and i'll put the link to everything down below and where you can purchase everything so check out the description box check it out so i just blend that in with a damp beauty blender this new find this maybelline powder is bomb i love it i have not touched my ben nye banana or my laura mercier since i picked this up um this is in the color medium and i really 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 have been liking this so i just use a dry beauty blender and pat that powder underneath my eyes to set my under eyes so that it doesn't crease um and when i sweat it doesn't you know crease up or i don't know you just it looks smoother underneath there so now I'm going to apply my lashes. I'm going to take the Salon Perfect 614 lashes and apply them. Um, and I use this little applicator that I got from Ulta. It helps so much when applying your lashes. So you guys should check that out. I'll put that in the description box as well. And I doubled up my lashes too. So there's two pairs on each eye. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs 
eyeliner and I'm going to put that in my waterline. This just makes my eyes look a little bit more defined because I feel like they get lost after I conceal and highlight underneath my eyes. So next I'm going to take my voluminous mascara and I am going to lengthen my bottom lashes. This just helps my eyes to pop a lot more and I really like that. So after that I'm going to take my MSF in dark by uh, MAC and I am going to sweep away some of that Maybelline powder. This helps my eyes look very clean cut underneath my eyes and it makes it look very photoshopped without photoshop so I really like it and then I'm going to take my concealer and go on the bridge of my nose cupid's bow in my chin and then just set it with that Maybelline powder again and then take my MAC um, my MAC MSF <laughs> in dark again and just go over it so I yeah do all of that but it works for me and it looks really good. <laughs> so next I'm going to take my MAC 135 brush in my CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer and I am going to warm up my face. So since you put on foundation and then the highlight, you want something to kind of warm your face back up and bring a little bit more color to your face. So I add this reddish bronzer to warm up my face and I pinch this brush like so. And I put it on the sides of my nose to kind of contour my nose a little bit. But yeah, I bronze in a E motion on the sides of my face. Next, I'm going to take this MSF in deep dark and go along the hollows of my cheek, my forehead, and my chin as well. Next, I'm going to take my highlighter. I'm going to use a Bobbi Brown highlighter, this one here, in a fan brush. And I'm going to make my skin glow, okay? You guys know I love to glow. <laughs> a lot but this bobby brown highlighter you cannot do any wrong with this stuff because it looks like you're glowing from within and the sonia kashuk one is a awesome like dupe for that because it makes it look like you're glowing from within especially if you're a dark dark bleh, <laughs> a darker skin tone so i really like this highlighter as well as the sonia kashuk one and i just put it on the high points of my face so I put my highlighter on my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And I do put a little bit above my eyebrows, the outer part of my eyebrows. And that's really it, guys. I really love this highlighter, guys. Love it. So next, I'm going to take my uh, Makeup Geek blush, and I'm going to use that same 135 br brush, blush and brush, <laughs> to apply that. And then I had to add more highlight, of course with that fan brush because it kind of disappeared a little bit. Now I'm going to set my face with this Scandinavia spray so that my makeup stays on all day and it adds to the glow as well. And I'm going to add now my uh, lipstick. I'm gonna use Whirl by MAC. This is a very pink, nudey, mauve lipstick. And I'm gonna go on top of it with my NYX gloss. I cannot remember the name at all, but I will put it in the description box. But that's really it guys. That's it. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe.